Let him who has come to be invested as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Vinaba, please step forward. And I repeat, by virtue of the authority conferred on the University Council, I invest you, Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afubweni, as the fourth Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Vinaba, this 17th day of September 2018.
It's now the turn of the mother, the mother of the vice chancellor. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here today to induct into office our brother, Reverend Father, Professor Anthony Afubruni, who has been appointed and invested as the fourth Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba and to ask God's blessing and the Spirit's guidance to enable him carry out the responsibilities of this office. Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afubruni, you have been called upon as the fourth Vice Chancellor of this university we believe that you have given thought to the new responsibilities which have been in, entrusted upon you and that you will weigh and apply yourself to them and ask help from God who alone can enable you to fulfill yourself in this calling. So now in order that the people gathered here to witness this occasion may fully understand your intention and also that in future 
your recollection of this moment may bestir you to your responsibilities, we require that you answer these questions. Are you determined to carry out your responsibility faithfully, seeking the welfare of those who work under you? I am so determined, God be my helper. Are you so prepared as to ensure that the academic work and moral education will be lifted higher than their present standard so that the students who come out of this university will be seen as good citizens of our country, Ghana. I am so prepared, the Lord be my helper. As a faithful manager of this university, will you endeavor to work in collaboration with all your colleagues and to eschew any form of dishonesty in your administration. I also endeavor God be my helper. Dear brothers and sisters, you have heard the solemn pledges of Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afobruni, who has been appointed and invested as the Vice Chancellor of this university. Will you now signify your approval? I induct you as the fourth Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is the source of all wisdom and knowledge. Let us ask him to bless our brother and fill him with his wisdom by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Creator, we thank you that you have chosen your servant, Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afubruni, to the office of Vice Chancellor of this university. Give him continually the gifts and graces necessary for the faithful exercise of his work. Direct, O Lord, all his doings with your most gracious favor and continual help, that in all his works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name. Send down your Holy Spirit upon him and fill him with your wisdom and blessing. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. May God strengthen you and bring your work to completion. Amen. Amen. May hope accompany your journey through the days to come. Amen. Amen. May God's abiding presence be with you all the days of your life. Amen. Amen. And I may now congratulate you.
address and it shall be preceded by the UEW ante. Thank you. Excellency Nana Dudankwa Kufwado, President of the Republic of Ghana and the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, the Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Matthew Pokupempe, Honorable Central Regional Minister, Mr. Kwamina Duncan, Chairman of the University Governing Council, Professor Emmanuel Nicholas Abaka, other members of the Governing Council, Past Chairman of the Governing Council of the University, Professor Jerome Jangma and Professor Richard Ewua, Past Vice Chancellors of our great University, Professor Nathaniel Peku, Professor Jofus Anamua Mensa, Professor Akwesi Asabri Ameyao, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, Acting Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor James Kwame Kejajeman, the Registrar, Surveyor Paul Osei Barima Esquire, the University Librarian, Mr. Viscount Boe Norte Boe, the Acting Finance Officer, Mr. Bruno Chirani, the Acting Internal Auditor, Mr. Godwell Antomensa, the Principal College of Technology Education, Kumasi, Professor Frederick Safo, 
Nenye Gathe the seventh, Efutu Omar Odefe and his entourage, Okukudufu Nana Kamina Hama Bebiu the second, your mining of a Jumaku traditional area and his entourage, Nana Abina Jemfua the second, Queen Mother of Asin Attendance Paramonsi, Nana Ajay Kropa the third, Jasehe of Asina Sempani Sebenso, Nana Efua Bwajua the third, Jasehima of Asina Sempani Sebenso, Nana Chumesiankra the first, Benkumhe of Adansia Yase, Member of Parliament for Futu Constituency, Honorable Alex Kwamina Afenyo Markin, the Municipal Chief Executive, Honorable John Bartholomew Nielsen, the Most Reverend Charles Gabriel Palmabako, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Cape Coast, the Most Reverend Matthias Kobinan Ketsia, the Retired Archbishop of Cape Coast, the Most Reverend Gabriel Justice Yao Anoche, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Kumasi and my classmate, the Most Reverend Joseph Efrifa Jekum, Bishop of Koforidua Diocese, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi, Bishop of Secondi Takradi Diocese, the Municipal Chief Imam.
I'm happy to be here this afternoon for the investiture of very Reverend Father Professor Anthony Afu Bruni as the new Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba, UEW. This ceremony is taking place on the heels of recent happenings in this campus which disturbed us all. It is worth noting, however, that the stakeholders have acted within the confines of the law to ensure that the university has a substantive leadership in place to help it achieve the goals for which it was established. To all whose diverse efforts helped in restoring normalcy to UEW, you have the appreciation of a grateful nation. I believe that in the new Vice Chancellor, we have a person capable of not only steering the affairs of the university for the next four years, but also sparing it on to even greater heights. His induction into office today is a mark of the trust that the governing council and faculty of the university have reposed in him. And I am confident that this trust will not be broken. His wealth of experience with decades of service to church and classroom makes him an appropriate person for this all-important assignment. To put the immediate past of the university behind us, I encourage him to use his four gifts to promote the spirit of reconciliation on this campus as it represents the surest route to success in the daunting task ahead. Vice Chancellor, one of the most important immediate challenges which will confront this university and others will be the dramatically increased population of students who will be seeking admission in some two years as a result of the free senior high school policy. There are some, mercifully a minority, who continue to state that all the infrastructural needs of our schools should have been addressed before the rollout of free SHS. I strongly disagree. I take comfort in the words of Holy Scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 4, which says, and I quote, If you wait until the wind and the weather are just right, you will never sow anything and never harvest anything, unquote. <laughs> we have taken the first bold step because we cannot continue to watch as tens and tens of thousands of qualified Ghanaian children drop out of school because they cannot afford fees. Free SHS is here to stay. And will be a permanent feature of our educational architecture. It is thus gratifying to learn that UEW under the leadership of the new Vice Chancellor, has already begun preparations to welcome the first batch of free SHS students who will be admitted here. Inasmuch as this is a heartening move, I entreat the leadership of the university to continue to create an excellent and conducive environment for teaching and learning at all times. Congratulations once again to you, very reverend, Father Professor Anthony Afu Bruni, on your appointment and investiture as the fourth Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. You have my support and the support of government in the pursuit of your progressive, in the pursuit of your progressive transformative agenda for the university. I wish you the very best of luck and God's grace.
Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudanko Akufu Ado, the Minister of Education, Honorable Matthew Opoku Prempe, the Minister of State for Tertiary Education, Professor Kwesi Yanka, the Central Regional Minister, Honorable Kwame Nadankan, Chairman and members of the University of Education Winneba Governing Council, the Omai Hene of the Futu Traditional Area, Nehi Gati the Seventh, who is also a member of the Governing Council of UEW, the Most Reverend Charles Gabriel Palmabako, Archbishop of Cape Coast, the Member of Parliament of Futu, Honorable Alex Afinio Makin, the Honorable Municipal Chief Executive of Efutu, Vice Chancellors and Rectors of Sister Institutions, former Vice Chancellors of UW and Sister Institutions, Nananum, Regional Heads of State Organizations, Principals of Satellite Campuses of UW, Principals of Affiliate Institutions of UW, Family, Friends and Colleagues of our new Vice Chancellor, Deans, directors, and deputy registrars, members of the clergy, members of UEW convocation, other distinguished invited guests, our dear students of UEW, past and present, ladies and gentlemen. You would agree with me that the appointment and investiture of a vice chancellor is an important event in the life of an institution. And that is why it becomes necessary to express deepest appreciation to the people who not only made it possible, but also made it so beautiful and graceful. Surely, all connected to this occasion, both those here with us and those not, deserve our loudest and warmest gratitude. But there are surely a few of us who deserve special mention. Our foremost appreciation goes to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudanko Akufuado, for his awesome presence. We count, we can count on our fingers how many times in our history as a nation a certain president has graced the induction of a Vice Chancellor. UW is therefore lucky and blessed to have the President here. Nana, we thank you for your love, humility, service, and commitment to the success of our university and the success of education in Ghana. We also thank the Honorable Minister of Education, Honorable Mati Opoku Prempe, for his direction and support. Our own Napo, our gratitude to you is huge. Then to the Chairman of the Governing Council, and his team of committed and dynamic members we remain grateful to you for steering our paths as a university, for hold tight our goals and dreams, and for your keenness, interest, and support. Again, Ney Yigati the seventh, we thank you and your loving, supportive of Futu Council for keeping this university on the top of your care, prayers, and wishes. The Most Reverend Charles Gabriel Palmer Bacco, you really invested the Spirit of God in this assembly and the work of the university. And we thank you and all men of God who are here to support us. We are also grateful to the Honorable Member of Parliament of Efutu, Honorable Alex Afinio Markin, and the Municipal Chief Executive for Efutu. You have shown such obligation to the cause of UEW, and you have never failed us, and you have never failed to see it as a beacon of joy and pride for Efutu and Ghana. We salute you. And to the family of our Vice Chancellor, we thank you for giving us such a son and for making this occasion complete. Now, our teaming special personalities the regional heads of various state agencies, the current and past vice chancellors and rectors of our sister institutions, 
and all members of the university and our affiliate and partner institutions, your friendship and right arm has always been our support. We are most grateful to you. Now, to the Almighty God, the Maker, Guardian, and Giver, by whose grace, gifts, and strength, and power, all things come to be, do we give the best of all our thanks and gratitude, now and forevermore. Thank you. Your Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu, President of the Republic, Your Lordship Archbishop Perma Bakel, Honorable Ministers and Members of Parliament, Members of the Governor Council, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, former Vice Chancellors, Professor Anna Mominsa and Professor Asabria Mio, first Principal of the University, Professor Peku, former Chairman of Council. Professor Alti Ewua, the clergy, Nananum, deans, directors, deputy registrars, heads of department, members of convocation, distinguished members of staff of University of Education, Winneman, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to on behalf of the University of Education, Winneba, express my deep appreciation for honoring the invitation of the university. I now declare the assembly dissolved. Thank you. Before the proceed prayer, we wish to announce that the refreshments will take place at the Executive Lodge at the North Campus here. Thank you. Shall we all rise, please, for the closing prayer and the benediction? Now, the Almighty God, we are so grateful, O oh Lord, to witness a day like this. Such a day that we can humbly say that we were part of it. Lord, it's all by your grace that we've seen such a graceful time, and we cannot but appreciate you to say thank you. We are closing from here, but we are still in your presence. Please lead us unto your various destination, guide us from any plan of the enemy and let us all be fruitful enough to see our, our very vision established on this earth. We thank you for our mother Ghana, we thank you for our president and we thank you for all of us that are supporting his vision. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.
Thank you. 